absolutely ice. guys hope you're all okay join me on this gorgeous Monday afternoon and finally I'm on my new bike I'm on my new bike and going for a proper ride on it so right guys you know what this bike is I've put some stuff on Instagram about it I've there's pictures of it at the start of this video yep 2019 brand new Honda CB 1000 R plus and this is the first proper run out I've had on it I've been using it to just poodle around town and bits and pieces, but nothing like roads like this. Right, so I think Pike Exchange the Africa Twin in for this. This will be my daily bike. I will use it every day, come rain, shine, snow, mud, salt, whatever. And the Africa Twin was brilliant, it was a couple of years old. And I saw a brilliant deal on this bike and I thought, nah, got, got to have it. I want to go back to something a bit more fun. And until the Street Fighter V4 comes out next year, whenever that'll be in a year's time, that'll be what I'll go for. So for now, this is my just my daily bike. As in, I chipped in the Africa Twin. So I went to summit, I can go out with the lads, have a hoon around. I don't go far. I don't do big tours and trips, you know, like the Africa Twin was supposed to be used for. I don't do that. Oh, it's something that was just a bit of fun. Just a little hooning around bike. Not silly expensive. If it gets a bit dirty in the winter, doesn't matter. And the deal I got on this was superb. I put down a £130 deposit, I think that's right. And it's 0% finance, uh, about £130 a month PCP. Keep it a couple of years. Job done. So, this is what I went for. A lot of you guys will be like, oh, why didn't you get an MT-10? Why didn't you get this? Why didn't you get that? I like Hondas, okay? Simple fact. I will use this in the winter, and I know it can resist the salt. And not many makes of bikes can. They just won't. So I totally trust in Honda to get me for a winter and not for the bike to be ruined. So, and I want to sound a bit more fun, as I said. So, this is what I've got. This is what I've got. I'm trying to talk to you when I'm going through these villages because it's, it's a very, very windy day. I will stop and have a little chat about what I've done to the bike. You've probably seen some bits I've done to it, but me just riding it again. So yeah, I'll stop in a minute somewhere if I can. Out of the wind, I'll try. Probably not the easiest. Let's see what I can do. So guys, yeah, no more Africa Twin, CB1000R. Right, this bike is not a hyper super naked nutter machine it's nothing like the super duke the mt10 uh, the aprilia it's nothing like that at all before everyone says i oh, should have got this should have got that it's not like that it's a very very different bike i think this bike is in a bit of a class of its own i don't think you can compare it to much else out there really i think you could probably compare it more to the likes of the BMW R9C, the Kawasaki, is it the Z800, 900 RS? I might have got that wrong. Bikes like that. A bit of a retro kind of modern cafe racer kind of thing going on. I think this is this sort of sits more in that category than the Super Naked. Yes, it's got the old Fireblade engine in it. It's 140 horsepower. Yes, I know that. It's got the power if you need it, but it's not a mad super naked nutter machine and I love the looks of this bike some people might hate it I absolutely love it it's just ah, superb <laughs> when you want to give it some you can it goes it's quick I'm only taking it to 6,000 rpms because I've got to get my running in service done at 600 miles Oh, 
Oh, mud on the road. See, as soon as it's had a 600 mile running in service, I'll do a proper review of this bike. Uh, what I like, what I don't like. But guys, yeah, this is just my first impressions, what I think about the bike, how it feels. You know, when you first get a bike, you just can sense if you like it or not. I hadn't even test ridden one of these. It was a bit of a gamble. But I took a gamble and it's paid off because I absolutely love it. Oh, it feels great. It actually feels like my old S1000R. From probably, well, I don't know, three years ago or more? Can't remember. It feels like that. The riding position is a little bit forward, similar to the Monster 1200 as well. I suppose you could compare this to the Monster 1200 because that's not really a super naked. So, yeah, anyone that's going to moan at me for not getting whatever bike, do you know what? Get whatever bike you want. Don't listen to anyone else giving you shit. Buy the bike that you like. And I like the looks of this bike because it's different. I'm on my really bumpy test ride road. This is going to test out the suspension. Nothing's been better down here than the uh, Monster 1200S with its Olins. Let's see how this feels. Did about 60 miles an hour. It's bloody bumpy, I'll tell you that now. Let's see how she feels. Whee. First impressions of the suspension. Definitely not as plush as my 1200S Olins, but pretty good. It's firm enough but not too firm. It's comfortable. Yeah, my ass is getting chucked out the seat a little bit that it wouldn't have done on the 1200S. But that's to be expected. This feels a lot better than some of the bikes I've ridden down this road before, I'll tell you that now. Oh, it feels good. Feels good. So yeah guys, I like this bike. I don't care what anyone else says. I love it. So yeah, that's it really. Simple fact. So yeah guys, I'm not gonna do track days. I'm not gonna go Larry. I'm not the most skilled rider in the world. I just want something that's a bit of fun. That looks good that I can use every day. And I can commute on it. I'll tell you what, brakes feel brilliant. They take it to 6,000 RPM, this is super fast. With this bike, a lot of the power is in the top of the rev range. It's not low down, it's probably over 9,000, 10,000 when it really gets going. And I'm only at six, and it feels brilliant. Riding position's great, sporty, but not too sporty. Power, even though I'm running it in, power feels brilliant. The brakes are superb. They're only to Tokiko, to Tokiko, something like that. I've never even heard of that, that maker brakes before. Not the normal Brembo's I'm used to, but they feel every bit as sharp as the 1200S brakes. No question. It just feels really good. Really good. It actually feels lighter than my 1200S. It's not. Actually, it probably will be. I've, I've actually taken some parts off this bike already and I've saved a good few kilos in weight. So it's probably now a tiny bit lighter than my Monster 1200S. It does, it, it turns in, it just feels a little bit lighter. But as I said, this is my just my first impression ride. I don't, I'm not sure 100% until I ride it a bit more. It's funny, everyone moans about these Hondas with the uh, indicator and horn and they're, they're all the way around, but I'm so used to uh, the Africa Twin that I naturally just find the uh, indicator straight away. It's no problem at all. So right, what else is there? First impressions, uh, blah, 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 uh, gearbox. Obviously it's tight, it's only done eight, 98 miles. It's got a quick shifter and a down blipper. 
so that's good it's a bit stiff but it's already smoother than my 1200s gearbox i hardly have to touch the uh, gear lever just a tiny bit and it changes smooth very smooth so i'm very impressed with the gearbox so far very very impressed really impressed down blipper yeah a little bit jerky but that'll bed in a little bit once i've done a few miles that'll be fine there you go gave it then a little bit and the quick shifter is uh, spot on blast at some quite high speed shall we say I'm doing now wind blast isn't too bad I love a naked bike I'm not putting a stupid screen on the front of this no way naked bikes you're supposed to have the air hitting you that's what that's why they're called a naked bike don't mess with airflow feels smooth it feels it feels brilliant it feels way better than i thought it'd be i thought i wasn't excited to actually get it i was thinking oh it'll be all right it'll just be a commuter bike nothing nothing special but i'm i'm shocked how much i love this bike Ab absolutely love it like 100 percent oh hang on my glove my gloves undone let's tuck that in there ah, get in there got my shorty gloves on the little strap kit's coming undone so yeah, I am more in love with this bike than I thought I would be. See, it crashes a tiny bit over, I just hit a little uh, drain cover then, and it crashes a tiny bit more than I'm used to, was used to on the 1200S, but that had a very, very plush suspension system on that, that had a full Olin setup. Sorry, I completely forgot to mention about when they got the deal, I also got, I think they were offering £1,300 off the bike. I think I got it for just a smidgen over £11,000. And to me, a bike like this for just about eleven grand is bloody brilliant. You know, my, my monster with all the tricked up stuff on it was probably, what was it, about sixteen grand. So when you think about it, five, <laughs> five grand cheaper than my monster. Is it that much of a lesser bike than that? Not really. I thought it was going to be, but it's not. it's windy oh another thing I forgot to mention while I'm running it in I've kept it in standard mode <coughs> excuse me what it does it keeps I think it takes it first and second gear I've got less power so you've probably got about 100 horsepower to play with in first and second gear I think that's right and, and normal power in the rest of the gears I think while running it in and it's a, th a softer throttle response I did put it in sport mode and the throttle response is definitely a little bit more jerky only in town obviously when you when you're gunning it uh sport mode will be will be uh, the throttle response will be perfect but just when i'm running it in i just thought maybe just keep it in standard mode it's got rain mode and a customized customizable mode right let's see how she feels on some of these little twisty roads muck on the roads because they're cutting the corn oh she feels brilliant feels so light I've pretty much got the tyre scrubbed in they're not too bad they're a little bit shiny on the edges but they're okay Feels ace, absolutely ace. Banging down the box then with a the quick shifter, no issues at all. So guys, yeah, what an awesome piece of kit for the money. 
Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, uh, tyres are Dunlop Sport Max 2 something. Oh, I can't remember what they are. Comes with those or Bridgestones. Quite sporty tyres. I'll probably go for the S when they wear out. I'll probably go for the Bridgestone S22s. I think they're a better tyre. So guys, what I've noticed with this bike, the fit and finish is absolutely superb. I've never seen anything like it on a bike of this price, or any bike really. The quality is amazing. It's only got like, is it, don't quote me on this, I think it's got like, only got like six plastic parts on the whole bike. And the biggest one's a front mudguard. So it's hardly got any plastic on it at all. It's all aluminium. And oh, it's, so it's got a steel frame. It's just... Oh, uh, the quality is, I'm blown away by it, absolutely blown away. Right, try to think what else, it's hard when you first get on a bike on a proper run out like this to think about things to say. But riding position, I've only really got short legs, my, my knees are touching the little aluminium panels that are down there, not the tank. Do you know what, it goes into neutral straight away, oh my god, that's a godsend. It's lovely, just no issue at all. Right, I'll stop in a little while and show you around the bike. The levers, the ASV levers, I've changed. Don't know if you can see them, look, they're there. I'll show you them when I get off. I changed them because the, on, the standard levers look crap. They were just horrible aluminium ones and the clutch lever wasn't adjustable. And I've only got small hands. So they fitted these at Honda. I think they're a couple of hundred quid. They're pretty expensive, but they're totally adjustable. They look good and they uh, they fold both ways if you drop the bike they fold both ways which is good stop i'm actually going by ducati i don't think they'll let, they'll let me in the car park they might make me park out the back i don't know if i dare even go in there but first of all i need to go get some petrol and then i might pop back and see if will's there didn't see his car there I'll have a look in a minute I'll get some petrol and then I'll uh, I'll pop back and see if I can see Will and say I haven't seen him for ages uh, oh it's a little bit quiet the bike I'm just remembering things as I'm going along so bear with me because it's a bit overwhelming when you first get on a bike as anyone anyone will know and if they take one out for a test ride that's what this feels like it's like me having a, a test ride on this right we want super 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 duper on lid Ultimate. <coughs> Alright guys, I'm not going to bore you while I'm filling up with fuel. Because that would be too boring, so I'll turn the cameras off and I'll see you in a sec. Alright guys, it's popped a Ducati. There's a quick look at her. I will show you more in a minute when I stop properly. One thing I did remember when I was flat with fuel is that I'm not quite flat footed on this it's a little bit higher the seat than my uh, Monster 1200S that was a bit low it's probably the same as my S1000R I'm not sure what the seat height is on this but so I'm not quite flat footed I'm only 5'7 I've only got short legs I think 30 inch inseam leg length right start her up Right, I'm gonna pop to Ducati quickly. Oh, but his stand was half uh, half up. I thought I folded it up. So, guys, yeah, just popped to Ducati. Uh, Will wasn't there; he's on holiday. Saw John. Good to catch up with John. He's a good old boy. Uh, oh bloody hell, load of bales, back of the tractor, oh pfft, straw fest, ah. I'm going to try and go back tomorrow and do part two of the test ride on the uh, Palagale V4, that's my plan, if the weather's alright, 
I will do part two of my test drive video. Depending on the weather, looks all right at the moment. We'll wait and see. I'm not sure what it's doing tomorrow, but if it's good, I will be on the V4S. Bye-bye, cars. <laughs> There's a squirrel doing a tightrope on the uh, <laughs> on the tele on the, on the uh, overhead wires. <laughs> he was ripping. Right from this point of view, looking at this bike before I do the walk round in a minute, uh, the screen isn't a fancy TFT. It's an LCD monochrome, whatever you call it, screen, but it does what you want it to do. It says everything you need it to say. Fuel gauge, gear selector, rider modes showing up. Yeah, uh, that's all I need. You have to be a bit careful with this tank, the paint. I think it was scratched really easy. I've got Nanotech uh, RNG spray that I put over it quite often to build up a protective coating. Because I think with black, it can scratch quite easily. The annoying thing with these bikes, you can only get the plus in uh, grey or black, as in this is black. And the grey looks a bit nondescript, so I went for the black one. I quite like the red, but you can only get that in the standard non-plus model, which doesn't come with all the bells and whistles that this has uh, got on it. So, yeah, I don't, I, why don't they offer the red in the plus model? That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. I quite like it in black, but I think I've got used to it in black now. Oh, while I'm rem remembering, as I am as I'm riding along, so I'm going to forget things when I get off the bike to talk about. It's got heated grips. They're here, look, on the, uh, there you go, it's gr green light. Uh, five stage heated grips. Obviously I need to turn them off. How do you turn them off? Three, two, one, off, there you go. So it goes through your five settings. So that comes on the uh, plus model, the heated grips. Which for me in the winter is a big bonus. Oh, she certainly shifts. Woohoo! And it's just keeping it below 6,000 RPM. Right guys, I'm going to pull over here, if there's no cars here. It might be a bit windy, but... We'll see. I'll just pull up here. And I should, yeah, it's not too windy. What I'm going to do, to turn her off, I'm going to use my phone to show you around the bike, but I'm going to use the sound from the GoPro because if I use the sound on the phone, it's going to be so bad in this wind, you're not going to hear a thing. So guys, bear with me a sec, and I'll get my gear off, get my phone out, and I'll have a little uh, walk around the bike and show you what I've done to it. Okay, it's a little bit windy, should be okay. There's a few cars going by, but it's not too bad. So here she is, my new bike, and I absolutely love it. Right, I'll try and remember the little things I've done and changed on the bike. Uh, I'll probably forget some stuff, but I will try my best. First off, these bikes come with a number plate hanger over the wheel. Uh, I'll add some pictures in this video, if I can, of the parts that were taken off it. So I've got rid of the number plate hanger and fitted an RNG tail tidy. It's not the best looking tail tidy I've ever seen. I wanted a uh, Evotech one, but they're out of stock. To the, for the near future so I've got the guys to fit me this it doesn't look the best but do you know what it's better than the horrible thing that was on the back wheel because I hate that so tail tidy I took off the foot pegs I put some plastic uh, little bolts in there so no rear foot pegs 
I've got the guys to fit these levers as I was chatting about earlier I don't know if I can focus on those or not but you can see how adjustable they are and they look really good in like matte black far better than the other ones uh, so guys got rid of the mirrors I've got blanking bolts in there I fitted these little mirrors that are meant for enduro uh, bikes but actually for now they're pretty good the view gets pretty reasonable better than i thought it would be anyway i'm gonna get some rizoma bar ends uh when i get a chance but for, ne for now these little mirrors are actually pretty good i'm happy with those no vibration i've just got them held on with uh cable ties if you can see in there look so yeah not the best job but for now it looks far better without the mirrors on oh the horrible radiator guard it came with Look like something you'd fit to your barbecue and cook sausages on. So I fitted an Evotech radiator guard, which looks a lot better because it's black. The other one was silver. I put a couple of little Dionysi stickers on the front and back. Obviously, small number plate, obligatory. Uh, this bike's got a tracker fitted as well, bike track. Uh, I can't think of anything else I've done to it. With the plus one, obviously you get the little bikini fairing thing. You get aluminium parts on the uh, on the wheels. Uh, what else do you get? Oh, you get the uh, seat cowl, the rear seat cowl there, and you obviously get the heated grips, which I chatted about earlier, which are there. But it's a yeah, it just the fit and finish is absolutely superb. I can't fault it. Even the, there's no seam on the petrol tank. Normally you get a horrible weld where the, the seam is on the tank, but it's just the little things they've thought of. Just, it's just brilliant. Wasn't sure about the front headlight, but you know what, it looks okay. But it just, it looks brilliant. It's got a huge uh, cat underneath. Underneath there, look, which is horrible. I am gonna change the pipe. I've got it down to a Scorpion uh, aluminium one or a Termi uh, pipe, quite a small one. That's my plan anyway. The uh, go away tractor, sorry, noisy. So yeah, I'm not sure yet. I'll add some pictures in the end of the video of the pipes that I like. They're both, both of them have got baffles that can be taken out to make them non-road legal. That's what you need to look for to keep them loud because the Krapovich is about 900 quid and it's uh, just not worth it, not worth the money. It doesn't sound any louder than a normal bike pretty much. So here's my tyres, what are they? Sportmax D214s. I've already given a bit of a hooning look, not many chicken strips on there. Anyway, right guys, that was a quick little look around my bike. Uh, as I said, anything else I add to it, each video I do, I'll, tell, I'll talk you through it and uh, go from there. Right, let's hop back on her and head home. Cool. Right guys, let's start her up. She sounds pretty good, if you can hear that. This is me revving it to about 6,000 RPM. Let's get off this horrible gravel. Whoa, wheel spin. Traction control was kicking in then. Right. Right guys, that was just a little look around the bike. I probably missed some things out that I've added to it or taken away. Because yeah, by removing the rear tire hugger number plate bracket thing, the mirrors and the rear foot pegs, I probably saved about three kilos, which is nothing, but it's all, it all adds up in the end. And it looks better with those things taken off, but the mirrors, I don't know if you can see, probably can't get a gist of, you can see a bit of my side, but it's not too bad. I can see enough of what's behind me for overtaking, but obviously I always do a shoulder check anyway, so. But yeah, these mirrors for now are perfectly fine. I'll look for some Rizomas bar ends that I had on the Monster 1200. I'm not sure they do the same ones for this bike, but I'll, uh, I'll do some research. But there's not much else I'm going to add to this bike. I can't think of anything else I want to do to it. Uh, 
everything's done already there's no point adding well there's no carbon parts you can add to this i don't think even if you wanted to so i'm not messing around doing that i'm just gonna uh just enjoy it for what it is oh i don't know if you can see in there i've got a little rng bung plug uh for the sort of stem of the uh i suppose it's where the handlebar whatever that's called bit is there's a hole there it stops crap going down there i guess that was actually off the africa twin it just popped straight in i stole it off the africa twin so that was good well as you can see for this bit i've mounted a camera down on the uh, side fairing i haven't bothered putting one on here yet looking up at me i haven't bothered doing that yet i thought oh, i'll just two cameras actually when we did the last video <laughs> the off-road video where the guys are on their 300 tpis uh waggy was on his i mounted a camera on waggy's bike my old what was it a hero session four camera i mounted it on his bike and within the first lap it, it somehow fell out of the bloody bracket so somewhere on that track in the dirt is a uh it's a gopro camera it was my old hero four which is a bit of a crap camera to be fair but it's gone not to worry bloody traffic uh yeah it's uh disappeared not to worry so i've only at the moment got my main camera the hero 4 which on my lid so guys yeah i've only got two cameras at the moment but not to worry it's fine right any questions give us a shout there's not much more i can say about this but my first impressions are brilliant i'm very impressed by the fit, the finish, the suspension, the brakes, everything is better than I thought it would be. Because I hadn't obviously test ridden the bike, so very, very, very impressed. And this engine's been so tried and tested for years, it just works. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. What have I done now? 112 miles. Right guys, time to head home. I hope you enjoyed this vid. Just my first impressions of my new bike, how I, how I feel on it. Uh, I haven't run over everything because I don't know everything there is to run over on it. I'm just, it's new to me. It's a new toy. But feels really good. Really impressed. Right, guys, hope you enjoyed this vid. Any questions, give us a shout. I'll probably do another ride out on this in the next week or so. Uh, and I'll, I'll know a bit more about it by then and tell you how I feel. Anyway, all right guys, take it easy and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.